In this video, I'll cover my six favorite electric guitars to recommend that are less than $2,000. If you use the Sweetwater links in the description, it helps us out, yet at no extra cost to you. Thanks for trusting our content and supporting this channel. Number six, the Gibson Les Paul Jr. The Les Paul Jr. is one of the cheapest ways to get your hands on an actual Gibson without spending more than $2,000. It's usually going to be configured with one or two P90 pickups, the dog ear design, which is par for all the Junior Series Les Pauls. We like the Junior Series for classic rock and hybrid lead rhythm styles. It's also just a great way to get your hands on the Gibson brand without spending too much. Number five, the Fender American Stratocaster Series. Just like the Telecaster, which we'll cover next. The American Stratocaster has a wide range of appeal to a lot of different musical styles. One distinction, the Stratocasters tend to be a little brighter with a more brisk response, especially on the higher register. As a result, I typically recommend them for guitar players in styles that are more strictly lead focused. Number four, the Fender American Telecaster series. The American version of the Telecaster is one of the nicer models, made for professional players in a wide range of styles. Sometimes they can get noisy, but it's still comfortably under the $2,000 price range at $1,600, which gives us room to upgrade the pickups if needed. We'd recommend going with something like the Fender Noiseless Telecaster pickups from the custom shop. Although keep in mind that some of the American Tellys already come with the noiseless sets installed. Number three, the PRS SE Mark Holcomb. Mark Holcomb developed several versions of his signature PRS, including the non-SE, more expensive rendition, and the seven string version. We're highlighting the six string SE model, which is one of the most popular in the series and one of our favorites because of its versatility. Number two, the PRS SE Custom 24. The PRS Custom 24 is normally a $3,000 guitar or more, but the SE version gets it down in the $1,200 range and still keeps the PRS brand, right down to the birds on the fretboard. A second version of the SE Custom called the Floyd comes with a Floyd Rose locking tremolo system that expands functionality, improves tuning stability, and just looks awesome. For years now, the SE Custom 24 has consistently been one of my top recommendations. Our top pick is the Gibson Les Paul Studio. If the Junior still doesn't feel like a real Les Paul to you, the Les Paul Studio almost certainly will. It's a real deal Les Paul design that is just basic enough to get you into the $1,600 price territory. Just like the Junior, it can handle a wide range of styles along with both lead and rhythm duties. The pickups don't need replaced unless you want to go for a specific style. And everything else on this guitar is top quality. It's comfortable to play with modern weight relief and sounds fantastic, both clean and with heavy distortion. For our price range, you can't go wrong with the Les Paul Studio Series. If you're prioritizing pickups, we always recommend going with one of the following third-party builders. Fishman, Seymour Duncan, EMG, DiMarzio, Fender Custom Shop, and Gibson. Spending this amount of money guarantees you're getting a reputable brand name and avoiding the eco brands like Squire and Sterling. Everything we've recommended comes from brands with well-known and respected reputations. We've recommended entirely from the following three, PRS, Fender, and Gibson. They're all very safe bets. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at guitarchalk.com.